I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the opening market minute for Thursday, October 3rd. Soybeans are down in the early going and corn is mostly weak as both continue to watch U.S. harvest activity. Conditions look generally warm and dry across much of the region for the next couple of weeks. That should be favorable for activity. And both corn and soybeans are keeping an eye on planning conditions in South America. Soybeans have additional pressure from a drop in soybean meal, which is declining on concerns about demand from the European Union. And wheat's mixed, consolidating, continuing to keep an eye on U.S. and world weather issues. Domestically, the trade's keeping an eye on U.S. winter wheat planting conditions, both hard red and soft red winter. While globally, Australia probably lost at least some of their wheat crop from a recent freeze, and the ongoing drought in the Black Sea region is a big concern there. Live and feeder cattle are lower, pressured by yesterday's lower move in beef, still waiting for widespread direct cash cattle business to get going. It's been a pretty quiet week so far with no appreciable trade and no real packer interest as of yet. And hogs are lower on yesterday's drop in the pork carcass cutout value. Also, it looks like cash values might have peaked out for now. With the opening market minute for Thursday, October 3rd, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins. Stay tuned for this afternoon's update.